Hi. Um, music Bear here once again. Um, this time I'm going to uh, address someone asked me on on the forum if if I had some um, good ideas how to to make structure in a project and um, uh, the best practice of creating projects and that's what uh, I'm going to show how I do it's not it's not just best practice it's just how I do it uh, and if someone think there yeah, uh, some might be something in that and I can use something there and that I don't like then whatever um, we're going to look at how to make structure in a project and how to make a pr uh, project um, so that it is not one complete mess of everything jambled in and not really uh, possible to understand uh, the project just a few days after you made it because that's very often what happens um, if you don't have structure uh, in, 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 in your project that you really don't understand it when you reopened it again you may have noticed that LMS uh, uh, or elements as uh, I like to call it um, look different but this is because I'm using the pre-release version for bug finding and I don't have the other uh, LMS uh, elements uh, installed right now so um, even though that this looks unfamiliar uh, it will be very familiar when the new version comes out because it's going to have this look and feel. Um, so we we have the screen here with the song editor, and the first thing I do is I remove the the the, the presets that I know I won't w uh, use as they are, and that has changed a little in in. Um, in, in, in the pre-release version because now in the beat and bass line we actually have a kicker and that makes much more sense but I know I'm not going to use kicker so I'm going to remove it it's just cleaning up uh, the, the project so that um, the things that you don't that, that you know you're not going to use I'm not going to use a sample track either um, remove those don't need them, remove them. We are going to use beat and uh, bass editors, we're not going to use it with that name, but that's a different story. The next thing I do is add some beat and bass editors, and I add three of them. And the reason I do this is that uh, these beat and bass editors are going to be part of the project structure. Uh, the next thing I do is I add a track that is going to be uh, a kind of sketchbook and uh, I am never going to use this ID um, which emulates uh, I think a common door uh, uh, and I use that also because it has a uh, an icon that is easy to see over the project um, and uh, it, 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 it's a little bit important that it's easy to see so um, I rename this and call it sketch or dump just call it sketch and I rename this and call it structure I rename this and call it keys. Uh, this one we're going to call it separator, and it has a, a, a function uh, to split up the project in parts. So we just call it separator. So now we have structure, keys, and separator, and when we add a note container in uh, in, in a piece and bait track, we have a neat feature that is able to um, 
change the color for it. And the separator we're going to make bright red. Just drag it a little out here. The keys um, we're going to use uh, only um, pastel colors, these light colors down here. And there's a good reason for that. We're going to change uh, choose that first here. Um, and it's because we're going to uh, uh, put names uh, into here. And that is the same for co uh, for structure. We're going to put to to, to rename um, these containers. We're going to use that one, but it doesn't matter. So now we have three different colored um, containers here in the song editor. Now I'm not really going to make a project because when I make a project it could take a month uh, to, to construct a project. Um, but we're just going to uh, we'll make a mock-up really. Um, I like to have all the windows at the same place and use the toggle keys um, when I work. Um, so just toggle the windows in the same position. So uh, the bean and base editor goes in the same place and I'll have the same size or the size of the whole screen. But that's not visible here because of, of, of the limited space I have for the video, but you have to imagine that I use the whole screen. So I can now toggle in the same working position and that's that's pretty good. Uh, I, I like to do that. And the same goes with um, the FX mixer. We're going to drag it up here and resize it. You can't resize that, no. But it's, it's there now and uh, I can easily switch to the window that I'm going to work in just using the toggle buttons dragging the windows up and down and so on and so forth that's pretty tedious and not something I do at least but that's up to you if you like to drag the windows around instead um, you can do that but I also have uh, a, 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 a another somewhat neat feature because having all these floating windows up in the same position also give you some room down here for um, for presets if we open one you can see it's yeah, somewhat possible to 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 manipulate here and you don't have to move them around so often but I don't know if that's really important uh, let's just close that and remove the track because we're not that was just a demo uh, gone it is so let's look at the mock-up project let's say that we want to start this project with a kick drum going boom 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 right in the start of the project and then something else kicks in but um, always use uh, um, names for your containers um, it, it simply doesn't work if you don't. Let's say that we, uh, we use two bars of kick drum to start the project. Uh, and then I just drag this structure to two bars and rename it. So I now know then when I look in this uh, project that my kick drum covers these uh, two first bars. And then let's say we put in some uh, hi hats for as much as so. So kick drum and hi-hats, that's the structure that we have in our project. Of course, 
that would call for another baseline and we want to keep them together because they are the percussion part so drag it up you know you can drag the containers up and down uh, uh, by using these knobbled uh, 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 what do we call them grasp points so so when I point here and hold the left mouse I can actually drag the track up and down inside the project and that was uh, what was it? It it was uh, hi hats. And that would be there. And fall as much as so that's stupid. So let's say it's like this. Brilliant. Of course the structure um will will uh, uh will need a lot of containers but as long as we uh, uh, give them a new color each time it is very easy to at a later point um, uh, find where we want to have a special part of the composition together with the hi-hats because now I just have to look at, look at the structure and and I can see where the hi-hats kicks in and where it stops um, I could also have a section called uh, percussion intro if you are using several percussion instruments in a uh, in, in one uh, beat and bass line then that would be part of your structure I don't like to use uh, several part of the percussion inside one beat and bass line I think best practice is to split it up into individual parts you can easily um, make variations in the percussion parts and you can also um, in, 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 uh, in some, some way uh, have a better structure and of course have uh, a special effects added to one of the percussion parts and not the other so I, I would recommend using different um, tracks for each uh, part of your percussion um, there's no problem in having more structure tracks you can make one more for uh, overall structure for instance where you can say this is the intro and then uh, a silent part kicks in for instance and then you have a build up for instance and then you have a silent part and then you have a breakdown and so on and so forth it's up to you how many structure parts you feel that you need so uh, you might have five structures and named differently but when you structure your project also remember that you have uh, the possibility of making notes um, use this notes just drag it in here use the project notes um, it's not possible for you to remember that great idea you had about how to uh, build uh, attention in your, your, your song you, you might think yeah I think I, I, I want to use a special instrument here or something then write it in in, 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 in 16th bar to 22 uh, 27 <laughs> sorry 22nd bar um, I want to use uh, 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 my, my double saw or whatever um, because this is a very good uh, 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 way to to, uh, to really remember what your ideas was during the project and that can change many times you can erase and, and add and blah blah and whatever uh, and, and also um, not so much perhaps erase part of your, 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 your notes but make it uh, obsolete in a way change uh, the position or something like you drag it in 
So you can see that uh, this is now not immediately part of my project, uh, but I may return to it later. Okay, project notes. We'll just toggle them away also. Okay, um, in the next chapter of this uh, uh, video I will show how we're going to use uh, separators and how we're going to use this uh, sketch um, a track uh, in, in this what we call uh, best practice, but that will be in chapter 2. Bye for this time.